today is 137 days. Blood over and ten. Um, you know, today I was, like, after having to go through this stupid fucking hurricane shit, um, which is just another thing, uh, it's like, I started thinking about, uh, like, is it that, uh, um, how is it that, like, people can somehow, with, with, um, all their senses about, you know, everything, and information that's, like, available. How is that possible that when you tell anyone, alright, you think you're spinning around at all these, you know, crazy speeds, right? And, uh, But somehow, you know, even though you'll sit there and say, you know, I don't, I don't feel any movement, then like not feel one, like, anything. And then you, you say to them, well, if you're, you know what inertia is, and centrifugal force, and, you know, you, you wear a seatbelt in the car, and you can feel all that, but somehow, you don't, you don't feel any of this other incredible movement that you're talking about. And it's like, instantly, it's just, uh, like, defense. They, uh, they have to defend it. And it doesn't matter what the logic is. The, like, when they when they first started this whole this whole ball, you know, spinning thing at the time. Like the scientists and the science that was around. Like when they started trying to introduce it and stuff. It was like, uh, these other scientists are like, you know, basically what, what these people are trying to introduce to you is so childish and, and like so far from reality of any measure that even our, uh, whatever terms they use their discontent to having to respond to it that's it was that obvious and uh and somehow it fucking worked like all of us have we we all got tricked and there's no, 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 no uncertainty about that. And it's just the truth, and it's part of the puzzle that you start putting together. And it all happens inside your head. And, uh, 
And the other thing is, like, when I talk to people, uh, it's like when I try to explain stuff, they're like, well, uh, how the fuck do you know what, you know, how do you know you're fucking right? And I'm like, I don't fucking know. That's the whole point, is... Like, the whole uncertainty. I, I've, I've been uncertain since probably before I can remember. I remember in kindergarten, that's where it began. But it could have been before that. And I think I've been uncertain my entire life. That's why I would imagine that if you really thought about it, everyone who's done Blood Over Intent, it, it's how you got here and if you're watching this and you're seeing this and you're like one of those people who you just you're not sure but you know you know more information and it's always down a path like to the truth and there's like 144,000 that are just going to be on this path and some are ahead some like behind and uh, like the rest the rest who are going on their path which is from point A to point B and their path just goes back and forth ours actually goes somewhere it's it's to the unknown <laughs> it's looking for the the actual truth And I, uh, I started, like, thinking about that, too, like, on my path. And it's like, I see kind of how, like, everything's headed to that, that one point. And, like, other, just other things start connecting me. If if you ever like see anything, you can pretty much guarantee the stuff you see on Blood Over Intent is that's it. It's it just helps you you know get that answer or those answers and and helps you find the just the shit you miss along the way and that's the other thing is like when you start looking for the truth you have to be able to uh to admit you're wrong about like everything and it has to be all the time or you'll miss shit. Um, just going somewhere else with this too. Uh, I guess I, uh, um, I think that's it for right now. I had something else about the time or something.
like just how how much stuff I learn in like a day.